What's up, guys? Um, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about myself. That I tried to on the live stream last night, but I don't know if you guys like understood me. So, well, I'm 18 years old. I'm Joseph Yoder. That's my name. Uh, I live my life to the fullest. I, I don't believe in giving up on nothing. Uh, I have heart problems and I have um, blood pressure issues. Um, which is like really scary. And uh, I may not look it, but I really am actually terrified. But really, actually, I'm just being a trooper, you know? I know most of you may not think it's bad, but it is. Trust me, it's actually really bad. And it's, I won't lie, it scares the living hell out of me. But that's just it. But I don't show my fear. I can't show my fear. I've always been taught never to show my fear, no matter what. Um, let's see. I've had this heart problem since I was in sixth grade. Uh, and a, they, I have a stent here and a couple of them here. I got six stents in me right now. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. Like, like a stent... It's like something that like helps your blood flow through and go and go through to your heart. It's in bad shape, but I'm, but I'm doing good. I'm I'm actually supposed to be in shape right now because of that, but I, it's hard, you know. I mean, I bleed a lot now. Like, say if I if I get a cut, I'm gonna bleed like hell, like literally bleed like hell, like literally. It's awful. So that's when I have to uh to uh get it healed up quick or at least get it cleaned up quick you know and uh i used to be in shape uh i wish i could get a picture of it but yeah i used to be in shape i used to have on huge ass arms not huge but it they was big enough you know it was awesome and uh i can i mean i still got my strength because i mean i still work on the farm and stuff but that's pretty much that's pretty much about it and uh yeah and let's see i live in west virginia oh no no well i live i i was raised in west virginia i live in ohio right now galpless ohio uh point pleasant west virginia is where i was raised i wasn't born there i was bo i was born over here in holzer hospital but i was raised in west virginia because that's where my family is and uh my grandpa my grandma my aunt my dad is there right now. My, like I said, my um, well, I didn't tell you this. My parents are split up. My parents uh, split up when I was in eighth grade, and that was when I was having this issue and stuff. They tried to get back together and uh, work things out, but it didn't happen. Now she's with another guy named uh, Doug. Uh, he's cool. He's uh, he he's cool, but but. I know that this might sound silly. Well, probably not, but I have only one dad, and that's it. I'm sorry, but I just got... I, that. That's just my my opinion. I'll treat him as a friend, but not like a dad. That's not... No, I can't. I'm sorry. But, but yeah, he's okay. I mean, I, I'll i be honest. I do get aggravated a little bit, but I guess he might get aggravated too. But, you know, it's all good because one thing for sure, I'm hard-headed sometimes, like my dad... Me and him, we don't fight, but we just, like, have our disagreements, you know. And it's pretty much like World War Two between me and him sometimes. And it's fun. But then again, it's not fun because I hate arguing with him. Because cause it's just tough. Because, like, just think of, like, two bulls butting heads, you know. Just think about that. It's it's it's, it's awful. Uh, <clears throat> that, But that's just how my family is. My family are... We're, my family is just full of um, hard-headed people, you know. Uh, we don't give up. We don't. We don't back down from nothing. If we like, like my grandpa, he'll tell you how it is, no matter who you are. <clears throat> That's just him. My dad will too, and I'm the same way. I'm just telling y'all, you know. Uh, let's see what else we got. Oh, uh, yeah, I lived a pretty good childhood. I rode four wheeler. Um, racing, I stopped because of my heart problem. 
Uh, I cause it, cause it kind of scared me a little bit. I mean, I still ride, but it still scares me a little bit. But uh, hope you guys understand that. But I'm wanting to get back into racing, just because it would be awesome. And plus, it's my dream to go pro. And so, since my heart problem, I kind of stopped. But now I want to get back into it. That's why I'm trying to make me a racing team, so I can do that. With so I can do it with good friends, you know, and they can help me out. Because I know Ryan, Caleb, everybody has my back. No matter what, all my friends has my back. I know for a fact. And Kyle and Lucas, I just met you guys. I, I just All you subscribers have my back also. You guys are awesome. Well, um, I don't know how much longer I can record, but I'm, on, I'm just going to say this. Hope you guys have a wonderful time. And enjoy the videos, and I'll, do, I'll tell you, I, and I'll tell you guys more about me. Peace. Um, yeah, I'll tell you guys, oh, I don't know why I said that, but anyway, I'll tell all you guys more about me sometime, uh, I'll do more Q&As if you guys would want to answer them, uh, yeah, and here's another thing, I, I've, I'm, I want to try to be a volunteer fireman, you know, just for the hell of it, just because I want to, I'm a helper, I like to help people, if someone's in danger, I would like to help them out. Like say, if it was like a, if it was an actual burning building, you know, I mean, no matter if I'm if I'm with the fire department or not, I would still rush in just to help out, you know. I'd still get a water hose just to help out. I that that's just me. I I I want to run toward it, not away from it. You know what I mean? I want to help. You know what I mean? I'm that type of person. I've always been taught that. You know.